So let me just jump in. Where are each of your characters' minds at as we start this season? Murder looming on one side and on the other side, got a career and a family to provide for. So that's where Cooper's at. Where Sorry, about what, what was the question? Where, where, are your, where are your characters' minds at as we start this season? Minds, great. Um, stress, <laughs> uh, stress, suppress, but stress <laughs> well. <laughs> you got it. <laughs> you got it. That's my answer. Um, I think, uh, Janae is really worried for Addie. Janae's concerned about Addie's mental well-being. Yeah. Can you expand on that just, uh, a little bit as a tease? I mean, <laughs> I think, uh, you know, Janae, the reason that Janae's in Murder Club is Addie. Janae doesn't really, at the beginning of the season, have a close relationship with any of the other um, people. So I think that um, Addie's going through a lot at the beginning of this season. She has a lot to carry. She's unpacking a lot of trauma. And we know from season one that Janae is like the most ride or die loyal person. And uh, so Janae's really going to make sure that Addie doesn't ruin her life in any way. I love that everyone needs a ride or die friend. Yeah, totally. So while we've got this whole, you know, trauma is a, a huge thing, but at the same time, each of you each of you want to just get on your lives. You want to move forward from this. You want to believe that there is, you know, a life after murder club. How does that play out? You know, do you get this chance to actually be teenagers for a while? I think there's a moment in the season where, um, you know, you're close to rock bottom and the only place you can go is up. And I think there's a moment where they get to experience that, you know, so I won't, I won't say much more, but I think, Around episode five, there's a moment. <laughs> I mean, I'm just thinking, you know, sorry. No, 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 no. go ahead. I, I'm, just because I've got Chib, I was thinking, you know, with, with Jake, uh, not Jake, sorry, I've got multiple characters in my mind. With Coop, he wants, he always wanted to play baseball. That, that's always my, you know, he's wanted this career path. Is, can is this going to derail any of that? Is he going to realize that eh, maybe you know baseball's one thing, yes, but you know there's there's more to life than this. Sorry, um, could you just re repeat the question? I had a little hard time hearing that. Sorry, just um, you know, baseball has been that that big thing for for Coop. Is there any chance you know that he's actually going to look at this and go, actually, maybe you know there's there's a bit more to life. Is this what I really want now? Yeah, I think um, I think baseball remains a priority, but I do think his eyes open a bit. And I think by having such a core group of solid people around him, that's something that opens his eyes. I think having a, you know, a, a love interest in um, in Chris, that's something that opens his eyes. And then I think, you know, there's a little bit of questioning some of his dad's motivations and i think that also opens his eyes so i, I do think that um while baseball remains a priority there is also more to life in a way that maybe there wasn't prior annalisa was it you who was gonna expand on no 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 i i was gonna respond to an earlier an earlier bit but yeah no we, we can jump back it was just while I had Chib, I wanted to ask about Coop. Totally. I will say, to be honest, my mind has moved on. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think it was the, the, the personal, um, the personal storyline, seeing that 
that growth there for the characters, you know, trying to move past murder club. Oh yeah, yeah. Just uh, for all of them, I do think you get to see a brief moment in the very beginning of the season, but really season two, just like season one, it starts off, poof, there's a bang and it happens quick. And then they are, the characters are in for quite a dark ride. And so you don't really get to see them like, other than what Chib said about episode five, kind of there being that brief moment of them getting to enjoy life. Otherwise they're pretty much driven by this kind of outside force, this Simon, mysterious Simon Says character. And yeah, it's pretty, it's some dark stuff coming up. I do feel like Addie has a little bit more than everyone else on her plate with what she learned about Jake. What, what's it gonna be like for her? Yeah, it's, oof, it's rough for that poor, poor girl, especially in the beginning. Um, and I think she, you know, she's really wrestling with not only what she found out about Jake, but I think wrestling with one, not really knowing, obviously, this side to him, but then two, really believing in her core self that it's all her fault and that he wouldn't have switched and he wouldn't have turned into this monster if it hadn't been for her and if she hadn't messed up. And so I think she really has to come to terms with, it's not her fault and it's not, it, it really was him and not her. And I think that's the whole journey of the season for her is finding that and learning that and yeah, being okay with it. Well, thank you so much. I'll save you for your time. I've got to wrap there, um, but I really appreciate it and good luck with the, the season.